Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 challenge. I started this challenge just yesterday. Um, and this is to go out and show everyone that you can grow an account starting with $20. And uh, anyone can come up with $20. So uh, I think this is going to be very valuable for everyone. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. This is going to be quick, short, and sweet. Um, because these are daily uploads, so if you haven't seen yesterday's, go ahead and check that one out, and there will be another one tomorrow. So, without further ado, again, uh, let's get into it. So, I ended the day up 12%. I made three trades, as you can see right here. So, yeah, that's how my day went. And then you can see that first one was a fat loss, and I actually broke my rule a little bit and adhered to the second rule of uh, not holding zero days till expired contracts between 8 and 11 because usually there's just um, you just get crushed there's nothing going on uh, volatility is usually flat um, that's not always but typically that's the case so that's my rule so I did sell it then but that was after I was already down 70 percent which was in part because um, as you can see here when you look at the options, and now I just sound like I'm making excuses, but uh, this is my fault, but it's also in part a glitch on Weeble, so be aware of this. This is also for anyone. You just got to double check. So if you look here where it says one, one day, um, in the mornings a lot of the time, that hasn't refreshed yet, and it should switch over to zero days. Well, that happened to me today, and I usually notice this. I've actually never not caught it um, before I placed the trade, but I today I was excited and I apparently missed it so I was already in the trade that expired today which I don't typically like to trade those I like to trade contracts that expire the next day they're less risky um, gives you more time to make decisions and uh, that's just what works for me so that's what I'm doing here um, but anyways I got into that trade and it was extremely volatile um, and that was the 374 puts I got in those at 14 out at four so that was horrible that was down 70 percent uh, i'm not even gonna get too deep into that but if you look at the chart here <clears throat> excuse me i entered right here which was mistake one i should have entered up here or waited for it to go um but i chased it a little bit and that was part of being a little too impatient so there's a combination of things and it's all it's all uh, learning. Everyone makes mistakes, and that's okay as long as you don't lose it all. So as long as you still have more money to trade with tomorrow, there's still hope. So you just got to basically keep calm and be patient. And uh, just because you're down on trade or you make a bad trade, don't beat yourself up because that will weigh you down, and that's going to be a problem, especially starting with such a small amount. This is not going to be easy. It is going to be very hard, um, but anyone can do it. It's plain and simple. Anyone can do it. So first trade, that was a big loss. Second trade I got into was a call. Uh, that's uh, one day till expire, which is what I like. 393 call, so I bought that at $7, and I sold at $19. That was great. So that was 175% trade. Um, and I got out around here. Um, you can see the exact times right here in my history because I'm being 100% transparent. So right here is January 4th. First trade I got in at 10.07, as you can see. And then I bought the second call right here while I was still holding this position as a hedge. If you saw my notes, that H next to it, I'll pop that back up. That little H right there, that's just a note for me, like a key to tell me that was a hedge position. Um, and then I ended up cutting losses. And in part why I did let it run till negative 70% was because I was holding that call hedge. Normally I would have cut it for sure at 50%, but because I was holding... Um, and straddling the position I let it run a little redder than normally I would and you know it kind of held it worked out because you basically buy yourself patience with that it's not the best strategy but it does work uh, works for me so that's what I do again I'm not a financial advisor but I do hope this helps um, I wish I learned this a long time ago from people so that's what I did with that um, ended up selling the put for a loss and then selling the call for 175 percent made up for all that loss so that was great and then later the fomc minutes came out so that's why you see this crazy volatility picking up right there and i thought i would uh <laughs> thought i'd feel frisky and play with my small i had nine dollars of buying power left 
I bought a six dollar call or put sorry three seventy two put at six dollars right here and I got out somewhere somewhere over there. You can see through the field time. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but if you're curious, the information's all on the screen for you to dig into. Again, being transparent because everyone on Twitter, not everyone, a lot of people on Twitter just throw up screenshots. They're just past trades they've made. They're not being transparent. They want people to think that every trade's easy and they're always winning. That's not the case. As you can see, first loss was a first trade was a big loss, and uh, I just stuck stuck in there and and um and made up for it on the day. It wasn't a big green day, but hey, 12%, I'll take it. So I am ready to go into day three. And that's that's about it, wrapping up. Um, I have nothing much else to say, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.